flag is raised. Look set. They're off. They break away in the second race over a mile, and it's unforgiven the first to show with flow of words on the outside of Mills Win. And coming across from the outside is Kid Curry, and prominent on the rail, Army Recruit and Circus Maximus in between horses. So they settle down the end of the first furlong. Army Recruit and Circus Maximus now share the lead, followed by Drumbeg Duke and Unforgiven, and then flow of words on the outside of Adigat. The Mills win next with Candyman, Crimson King, and Kid Curry. And then on the inside, Il Paradiso with Fast Bender pushed along as Spelga, two lengths back to King's Vow then Hurricane Cliff and towards the rear de Sola Man. Matching stride, Circus Maximus and Army Recruit on the inside, the horse with the nose band, just over a length and a half back to Unforgiven, who is disputing third place with flow of words, and they're followed by Drumbeg Duke and Mills Win and Arigad. Crimson King is next with Candy Man. Kid Curry is followed by Il Paradiso. Racing to the home turn, three furlongs to go. Circus Maximus and Donnick O'Brien on the outside of Army Recruit and Colin Keane. These two in front of Unforgiven and Colm O'Donoghue in the centre of the track. Then Drumbeg Duke and Flow of Words. Crimson King towards the outside with Mills Win and then Il Paradiso. They were furling and a half to go. Circus Maximus won from the rail. On the far side, the grey jacket of Army Recruit as Circus Maximus is leaning towards the near side is very green. Army Recruit on the far side keeping straighter. They're racing up towards the finish. Circus Maximus on the near side. Circus Maximus, the first two winners go to Donica and Aiden O'Brien. Circus Maximus, despite veering towards the stand side, has beaten Army Recruit, then Mills win and Il Paradiso. Listed prize. They're all set. They're off for the home serve D stakes over the extended mile and a quarter. All mankind and the yellow jacket began brightly and leads them down the straight first time to Circus Maximus. The shades of blue for Ryan Moore racing close up in second. Living legend is tucked away against the running rail. Fox Chairman tracking the leading half of the field. Blue and white soaks for champion jockey Sylvester de Souza. And then Mohawk under Donica O'Brien in the purple and white and the outside of the field. A dark Jedi last the field as they swing the turn, but uh, firmly in touch. So heading up the viaduct side of the track onto the seven marker. And All Mankind setting a decent tempo here. Leads by a couple of lengths to Circus Maximus. Disputing second with Living Legend in the pink jacket. A further two lengths away to Fox Chairman. And Dark Jedi in the dark blue now just easing past Mohawk. Relegating the latter to last position. Heading inside the final three quarters of a mile then with five or six lens covering the field and it's all mankind and Danny Tudhope leading. Now Ryan Moore just chivying along Circus Maximus, just niggling away to keep him awake as they move through halfway. Living Legend and Franny Norton Pink Jacket up the rail from Dark Jedi. The Souza is also just having to shake along Fox Chairman, betraying a few signs of inexperience. Blue and white, last but one. Mohawk is still at the tail, and they're heading now inside the last half mile in the home serve D stakes. All mankind against the fence has made all so far. Circus Maximus within a half length. Living Legend now looking for a bit of daylight in behind him, hemmed in at this stage by Dark Jedi as they pass the three. Then Fox Chairman the rail from Mohawk, and they're beginning the swing back towards home. Circus Maximus now bustled up by Moore to come and take on the pace setting all mankind. Dark Jedi belying big odds at this stage. Dark Blue Jacket then living legend Mohawk in the purple. Fox Chairman is last and trapped in a pocket and it's Circus Maximus who now strikes on for home. Leans into the rail but kicks two lengths clear. Heading down towards the last furlong. Stable mate Mohawk is moving up to give chase. Living legend is back in third. Circus Maximus. Mohawk though is bearing down on him. Moore glances across mohawk still closing but circus maximus picks up again close home and it's circus maximus o'brien again broom is the last in they're ready for the 2019 investec derby and they're off
Racing away from the mile and a half start, Broom and Humanitarian were a little bit slow to go. Telecaster is out boldly. So to Anthony Van Dyke and Circus Maximus ridden forward with Norway in the white cap towards the outside. They're chased by Line of Duty and then Mad Moon midfield with Japan and Bangkok and Sir Dragon A on the outside, Hiroshima. Uh, Broom is second last and Humanitarian is the early back marker as they race right-handed through a few shadows and it's now Sovereign that bounds on as they cross across to the inside and Sovereign leading the way as they go up the hill by a couple of lengths or so to in second place Norway. They're tracked by Telecaster and Circus Maximus. Another two lengths to line of duty on the inside of Sir Dragone and they're getting quite well strung out as they climb the hill. Further back is Anthony Van Dyke alongside Bangkok and then uh, Mad Moon together with Japan. Hiroshima Broom and Humanitarian as they now race inside the final mile. So the pace looking earnest here, it's looking strong and it's set by Sovereign, one of the Aidan O'Brien seven runners leading the Bally Doyle team here. Sovereign by a couple of lengths to Norway second. Circus Maximus in third. Telecaster is handy in fourth. Then a break of about four lengths. Back to line of duty in the dark blue jacket. Ryan Moore on Sir Dragone as they begin to run down the hill now. Bangkok further back and then on the inside Anthony Van Dyke followed by Japan and then Mad Boon is further back in the field. They remain quite well strung out. Broom is moving up out wide and then towards the rear Hiroshima in the noseband and Humanitarian. On the descent now towards Tattenham Corner. They've got five furlongs left to cover and Sovereign is out clear. Chased by Norway in second place. Telecaster on the inside of Circus Maximus. Then line of duty. St. Dragon is just in behind these. About six lengths off the pace as Broom now makes good progress on the wide outside. They're followed by Mad Moon. Behind those is Anthony Van Dyke. Line of duty making ground in the all blue jacket. Bangkok further back. Down the home straight. Sovereign and Norway coming back to the field. Circus Maximus to Dragon A on the outside. Mad Moon is right there now inside the final two furlongs. Mad Moon and Sir Dragon A chased by Broom in third. Then Anthony Van Dyke down the outside. Japan is running on well. Mad Moon and Sir Dragon A fighting it out. Anthony Van Dyke on the far side inside the final furlong. Anthony Van Dyke, Sir Dragon A and Mad Moon racing up towards the line. On the near side, Japan with Broom. Anthony Van Dyke has won it. Anthony Van Dyke is another win in the derby for Bally Doyle, a Bally Doyle bonanza. Uh, real close for the miners, Japan out wide of Broom, Sir Dragon A and Mad Moon. Very close to second, third, fourth and fifth. Down now to the last two. Royal Marine will be the last. That's it, they're just about set. Oh, they're off in the St. James's Palace Stakes. Fox champion from stall 11 got out uh, very swiftly and begins to track over under Sylvester de Souza in the blue and white jacket. Circus Maximus with the white cap is racing prominently. Bell Rock in the sheepskin noseband wide at this stage and slipstreaming the gray Phoenix of Spain. Too darn hot, Frankie de Tor in a pink jacket is tracking the leaders as they link up with the round course. Uh, followed towards midfield by Royal Marine in the all blue of Godolphin, Scardu in the shades of blue tucked away against the running rail. Shaman is trapped fairly wide with the white sleeves. King of Comedy, Maroon Jacket has got a couple behind at this stage. And they're the stable mates Van Beethoven and the Irish Rover. So heading towards the halfway point in the St. James's Palace Stakes, and it's Fox Champion dictating here as they head towards the turn, closely attended by Circus Maximus. Couple of lengths away then, Phoenix of Spain, two Don Hot towards the inside, Bell Rock in the sheepskin noseband is out wide. Followed towards the top of the straight bar, Moore Marine from Scardu, and then Shaman with the white sleeves and cap. Further back to King of Comedy, and then Van Beethoven and the Irish Rover is pushed along in last place. Into the straight, heading down towards the last two and a half furlongs. Still Fox champion in front against the fence. Here goes Circus Maximus with a white cap. Phoenix of Spain, the grey is coming to challenge. Frankie has pulled out two Don Hot with a pink jacket, launching 
his challenge. Four in a line as they head down towards the last 300 yards. Circus Maximus struck the front. Here's two Don Holt though with a storming run from off the pace. King of Comedy and Skardu are also staying on very strongly. Two Don Holt came upside Circus Maximus, but he couldn't quite get past. Finishing off strongly, King of Comedy, but Circus Maximus held on to win the St. James's Palace Stakes from King of Comedy. Tight for third between two Don Holt and Skardu. First, and number two, uh, Circus. Last time, he'll be right in the foreground of the shot there, and they're off and racing. Accidental agents jumped out pretty well at the back of the field. I Can Fly and Lord Glitters are both restrained, and Phoenix of Spain is the first one to show to any advantage. So Phoenix of Spain with Circus Maximus being sent forward, they hold the first two positions, and Too Darn Hot is not going to get two of his main rivals get too far away from him, and is in third place, a little keen on the inside of Sabeel Prince. Second half of the field is made up of happy power, I Can Fly, accident dental agent and his old adversary the grey lord glitters so grey's bookending the field at the moment as jamie spencer out on front on phoenix of spain continues to make the uh, running out in the lead as they prepare now to take this left hand bend and entering the uh, straight by the lower bend circus maximus in second place as they approach halfway two darn hot in third on the inside of zabiel prince racing in fifth place happy power then i can fly accidental agent and lord glitters phoenix of spain out in front uh, circus maximus now being pulled out stoking the coals in second is ryan moore in third place two darn hot travels strongly at this stage then zabiel prince happy power closes up then behind these i can fly lord glitters and accidental agent circus maximus is now asked to put it to phoenix of spain at the two furlong bowl zabiel prince covering the move is too darn hot who now gets on the back of circus maximus and moves out but circus maximus has committed here got most of them in trouble too darn hot is being gathered up for a challenge then zabiel prince i can fly too darn hot comes alongside circus maximus in third place i can fly then zabiel prince too darn hot has gone a neck in advance now half a length from circus maximus and the group one bandwagon continues for goslin and detori too darn hot on the Sussex from Circus Maximus. Big run happy pass gone close to third with I Can Fly, Lord Glitters, Phoenix of Spain, Accidental Agent, and Zabiel Prince. Just did enough too darn hot to prevail by half a length from in second Circus Maximus. Very close, drop of the heads either way for third, possibly just I Can Fly ahead of Happy Power. They're all covered by a small margin here. I don't think they are. That's it, all in and set. They're off. They race away, get away to a fairly decent line. Duke of Hazelwood fast away, but restrained as Mari's Diamond's going to lead him near side. Circus Maximus, more down the center, and uh, his market rival, Terra Bellum, is right up there as well. Space Traveler and Roseman behind these, and then Fox Chairman, Bilston Brook, and Escobar to Plumatic and Turgerman. Uh, Turgerman with a pink cap, the black cap then of Mustache is in company with this. They're followed further back in the field uh, by Escobar. Gabar Bilston Brook, and then comes Mo Hartha, blue and white on the cap, who's towards the right accidental agent who won this two years ago. Orange cap is towards the back of the field. Duke of Hazard got out well, but has been restrained and is at the rear of the field of the Queen Anne Stakes as they approach now the halfway stage. And in light blue, Joe Fanning on Mari's Diamond has the advantage. Uh, the white cap of Circus Maximus, a neck behind in second place, and then in blue and white is Sylvester de Souza on Fox Chairman, yellow jacket of Roseman precedes him. Terabellum, Frankie Dottori, the blue colours, about three from the left in blue, right in behind the leaders. Billsden Brook with a white face, his next space traveller behind this. They're followed through by Mustachri. Duke of Hazard's gone to the extreme left. Circuit did the whole field now as they head down inside the last two. Mari's Diamond plugging on gamely. Here's Circus Maximus and Terabellum to put down the challenges, though. Roseman is back in fourth position. Space traveller behind these. Terabellum and Frankie is just taken the lead now. Circus Maximus though is fighting back very strongly with a white cap as they race towards the line. Terra Bellum and Circus Maximus they are absolutely together and they've won it there two or three lengths clear to Mari's Diamond and Roseman Space Travel Accidental Agent and behind those Mohatha. Well, it's officially a photo finish, but Jim, we were saying this is what Circus Maximus likes. He loves the scrap. He loves to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with his rivals, and he's had a real tussle with Terra Bellum there. I'm not going to speculate on the result until we get it, but that was an exceptional race. Yeah, it was. Um, it was run just steadily. It suited horses ridden handily. Circus Maximus's performance very similar to last year. 
uh, when he won the St. James's Palace Stakes. Here we come with the head bobber now. I was pretty sure, yeah, he's got it. Ready? Zerf, they race away, then Kamiko gets out very smartly indeed and is the first one to lead this Qatar Sussex Stakes. Going with him though, Circus Maximus in the white cap, a dark jacket of Vatican City and Wichita in purple is wide on the course. Mohatha in blue and white is up there as well and then San Donato, a yellow jacket and a pink cap of uh, Siskin and Colin Keane is just at the rear of a very well bunched field off a couple of furlongs, there's only five lengths between them. Ryan Moore on Circus Maximus just goes on to lead. Dark blue jacket for William Buick on Vatican City in second. Asheen Murphy against the running wheel, Kamiko in third. Purple jacket for Frankie on Wichita showing in fourth as they get to halfway. Blue and white for Jim Crowley, Mahatha. Yellow jacket, Andrew Etzeni around the outside of a pink cap for Colin Keane on Siskin as they move them towards the home straight. Circus Maximus bowls along by over a length and a half. Vatican City with a white face in second, driven along to try and keep up with one of his stable mates. Kamiko is next. The purple jacket behind this is Wichita. San Donato, yellow jacket towards the outside, making progress. Siskin is held up still at the rear of the field. They've got to the two marker. San Donato runs a massive race at a big price here. Siskin is trailing and throwing the outside. Circus Maximus, Kamiko is looking for room as well. Still there is Wichita as they head back for the closing stages. Circus Maximus is very brave. Siskin and Mohatra in the blue and white coming down the outside for challenge. Mohatra in the blue and white comes late on to a grand victory in the Qatar Celtic. Circus Maximus in second, then Siskin, Kamiko, Wichita behind the San Donato, last home, Vatican City. They're off in the Breeders' Cup mile, Halliday. Sharp from the beginning and right out to the early lead. In fact, this is away running in second. Order of Australia is sent up on their outside, racing for that first turn. Kamiko just in behind the leaders, running in fourth position and saving ground under Rasheen Murphy, just two lengths off the lead. Then Casa Creed followed on the inside by Circus Maximus. Ivar's out there three wide. Then comes Saint Voyage, followed by Lope Fernandez, who's seven lengths off the lead to the back stretch. And on their outside and moving up is Raging Bull. Then march to the arch in Siskin. Uni, second last digital age, is the trailer as the field heads up the back stretch. In pursuit of Halliday, who leads it by a length and a half. Factor this, tracks in second position. Then it's Kamiko third on the inside. Order of Australia's fourth. Circus Maximus fifth. After a half mile in 46.97 seconds. Casa Creed is sixth right now in five lengths from the front. And Ivar to the outside. Lope Fernandez is saving all the ground with seven lengths to make up. Moving for the far turn. Then march to the arch and Raging Bull. Uni is beginning to pick up stride from the back of the package. She's going three wide and Digital Age is going to come outside of her as they make their way toward the top of the stretch. Halliday's going to try to take them the distance here. Turning for home in front of the Breeders' Cup mile. Kamiko on the inside is second. Order of Australia running a big one on the outside. And a huge price here comes Order of Australia to take the lead as they come into the final 16th. Circus Maximus runs up on the outside. Lope Fernandez is next. It's Order of Australia. He's 73 to 1 in the Breeders' Cup mile. Circus Maximus was second. Lope Fernandez was third. The final time, 133.73. What an upset.